peace and blessings to everyone. As some of you might know, SOA recently added 127 new sample questions. So you can see here questions 320 to 446, and these are 127 new questions added just about a month ago. And that takes the overall count to 446. And over the last month, I've been working to expand my book. Many of you are already familiar with my book and you know that I keep updating it as SOA makes any changes. So I've been working to expand my book accordingly. And by the grace of God, I finished the update yesterday and the new version is now available for sale on Amazon. And this was by far the biggest update made by SOA in recent years. And accordingly, the biggest update of my book since it was first published. Now, as some of you already know, I keep updating my book whenever SOA makes any changes. Therefore, if you want to follow the latest SOA syllabus, you should always buy the new book from Amazon. You can see that there are some used versions as well, but they will most likely not be updated versions, and therefore I do not recommend you to buy those. Always buy the new one, and this is even more important for this version than it ever was because of the colossal number of new problems that SOA have recently added. Now, some of the new problems are very similar to the earlier ones, but some have new wrinkles, and it is very difficult to tackle these in exam situations unless you have already seen explanations to them like the one I provide in my book. Now, for those of you who are not familiar already with the structure of my book, let me describe it again. So here. So what I do is I break the SOA sample questions into small portions. And before the start of each portion, I provide a list of formulas that are applicable to that portion. So for example, my first portion is problems one through 16. And I go sequentially according to the way SOA have listed their problems in the sample. So the tools needed for problem one to 16, you can call it a tool sheet or formula sheet. So I very briefly remind you of the formulas that you will need for these problems, the one through 16. And I then start explaining the problems in a very easy manner, always staying to the point as those of you who um, already watch my videos know. And uh, I do not uh, provide the statement of the problems because you can get that from the SOA website. And also if you are watching my videos alongside, I always show the statement of the problem at the beginning of the video. So I start explaining these problems in a very easy manner, like I said. I then follow up with a quiz which covers the a relevant portion. So for example, the first quiz will cover problems one through 16. So let me just show you the table of contents. So the tools needed for problems one to 16, followed by the explanation, and then the quiz one starts next after the explanation of problem 16 has finished. And the quizzes are SOA level questions and if you have followed the explanations of the relevant uh, problems, then uh, you should be able to do the quiz on your own without looking at the explanation. I do provide the explanation for each quiz problem right after the problem, but I highly recommend that you try to do every quiz without first looking at the solutions. Okay, and then although, um, mm, Sometimes, you know, that many a times the um, formulas keep repeating. So, for example, let's say that there's a formula that's needed for problems 28 through 40. 
and that formula has already been used in one of the earlier set. Now, I will always uh, provide that formula again in the recent tool sheet or formula sheet instead of asking you to turn back pages and refer to the earlier formula sheet. That way, it's very convenient to read through the book. And um, I then repeat the process. So you see the tool sheet followed by explanations of the problems, followed by quiz, and then I repeat the process for the next set. So the next set is problem 17 through 27 and so on. And again, a quiz. And I keep um, repeating the exact same process until we reach problem 319. So you see, I have a quiz 25. But there on for the later set of 127 problems, I am just providing the tools and the explanations for the problems. The so tools for problems 320 to 332 on page 555, and then the next uh, 13 or 14 pages are for the explanations of these problems, and then the tools for the next set, and so on. So this way I continue until we get to problem 446, and then I have two practice exams, and these are uh, SOA level exams, and I highly recommend that you give yourself three hours for each exam and try to work it out in an exam setting. And then after that, you can look at these detailed solutions. And uh, after the solutions of the exams, I have provided a comprehensive formula sheet, which is more than a typical formula sheet because wherever con convenient, I also briefly mention uh, which formulas to use in which situations. Of course, it's not always convenient to do that, but wherever possible, I've done it. And so in a way, uh, these nine pages of the comprehensive formula sheet are uh, a very good last hour review for the exam. And now let me also mention here that the... Uh, explanations provided in my book to the SOA sample questions are in synchronization with my videos on this channel, as some of you already know. That way, if you watch my videos, you do not have to take any extra notes if you have my book in front of you. Now, as of today, which is January 1, 2024, I have videos for the first 319 problems. And uh, over the last month, I was just working on updating my book to mm, the total count of 446 problems. And I will start uploading the videos of the new 127 problems soon. It may take a few weeks to complete the videos of all the 446 problems. So meanwhile, the only place where you have the detailed explanations of all the 446 problems is my book. And once again, make sure that you buy the new one and not a used one if you want to see the latest updates. May all of you have a blessed new year. God bless you.